this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between using the active track mode in the Mavic 2 and then my ability of trying to follow an object manually. So I'm following this Land Rover. It's hard to keep this, the, the right distance, the same distance between the drone and the vehicle. And right here, I get pretty close to these palm trees. And then this is active track. So the drone is following me. I'm not doing anything. As I'm flying manually, I'm not turning my camera to follow the skateboarder as he goes left to right across the screen. It gives you this cool look of him just weaving back and forth in front of you without giving you motion sickness. But this is also part of the hard part is catching up and keeping a nice steady. See so I overshot him there and then playing catch up again. Okay, let's see how active track does. And nope, wrong car. Now we're gonna follow the truck and we just lost it. There's benefits of doing the active track, and there's also some cons to it. I like using the active track in a situation where I need to be hands free. For example, when I was on the scooter, I need both my hands on the handlebars. I can't be trying to do that in, in any respect. So that's really useful. But in other times, it, you, you probably do want to have that manual control to be able to do exactly what you want, to move around your object that you're following, but it does take a lot more skill, but that, that only comes with practice. So you have to get a lot of hours in flying and, and practicing maneuvering your drone around. One of the downsides of Active Track is that it sometimes loses the object or it, it's confused. So in this part, you can see it loses the van and starts following the truck. But if you're flying or tracking an object that doesn't have a high contrast to the background, it can lose it easily. Like I've done this in surfing. When the wave washes over a surfer, it loses the object and it will find something else to follow, whether that's your person or not. Active track is a great feature to use, but you need to know how you're using it and what it's most useful for. And then of course, you always need to be improving your stick abilities, how you can move your drone around so you get the, the best image you want. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. See you later.